Hope this morning, friends and folks. <clears throat> it is Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. So let's dive right into Sarah Young's lesson today. Out of the three lessons that I have done, I'm very compelled to give you this one. Or rather, the Lord is. <laughs> so here we go. Learn to appreciate difficult days. Be stimulated by the challenges you encounter along your way. As you journey through rough terrain with me, gain confidence from your knowledge that together we can handle anything. This knowledge is comprised of three parts. Your relationship with me, promises in the Bible, and past experiences of coping successfully during hard times. Look back on your life and see how I have helped you through difficult days. If you are tempted to think, yes, but that was then and this is now. Remember who I, I am, the great I am. Although you and your circumstances may change dramatically, I remain the same throughout time and eternity. This is the basis of your confidence. In my presence you live and move and have your being. This knowledge is comprised of three parts, your relationship with me. You know, I found the Lord in jail, so January 5th, 2008, and of course there's jailhouse religion. But it was different. When I got on my knees and cried and I don't want to be a drunk no more. I don't want to do drugs no more. I want to make my girlfriend my wife. Now, this is January 5th, 2008. I married Annie November 17, 2010. It came to fruition. I asked him to give me something to do. He ended up making me a deacon at Washita and carrying across the end of Oklahoma since January 26, 2016. I asked him for a consistent job. I've been right here. I've been here since June of 2009. He fulfilled all the promises, just like it says in the Bible. Past experiences of coping successfully during hard times. If it wasn't for his way harder than mine, I, I wouldn't be able to cope without my wife not being here. But I know that I have the peace that surpassed all the king because I watched her give her heart back to the Lord that tie cope during a hard time of her absence it's been almost a year y'all coming up on 11 months the 23rd <laughs> i still cry for her but more than anything i laugh at that fear of the future because i'll smile for her and uh i'm fulfilling the vow that i said which is simply that i'm not gonna remarry i'm done and uh make that a solid deal i am asking the lord to close that door on my heart so he has and it's a simple life. I've raised my girls, and that's good enough for me. And that's how I got raised, looking up at my aunts. Uh, we have Scripture, Psalm 112, 102 and 27, rather. 102 and 27 reads, But you are always the same. You will live forever. I'll go to 28. The children of your people will live in security. Their children's children will thrive in your presence. Aw, uh, this is cake. Cake had to get caps in at Southwestern Hospital. <laughs> um, next up, we have Isaiah. Isaiah 41. 41 and 10 reads. 41 and 10 is, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. One time I asked my pastor, I said, uh, I said, I noticed that it says right hand a lot when it talks about the hand of God. How come it doesn't say anything about the left? And she told me simply because you look at Jesus. Jesus was the center cross. He was in the middle. And there was a thief on the right who made it into paradise. But the one on the left was a fool. And that's why it's always the right hand. Now, my, both of my girls are left-handed. Don't mean you're a witch if you're left-handed. She's just making a correlation. That's it all. That's it. <laughs> and the last one, we have Acts 17 and 28. For in him we live and move and exist. As some of you, as some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. And 29. And since this is true, we shouldn't think of God as an idol designed by a craftsman from gold or silver or stone. 30. God overlooked people's ignorance about these things in earlier times, but now he commands everyone everywhere to repent of their sins and turn to him. 
For he has set a day for judging the world with justice by the man he has appointed. And he proved to everyone who this is by raising him from the dead. He's talking about none other than Jesus. And I hope and pray that if you don't know him, that you do in a relationship. I knew he was there. I even got kind of raised up in the Lord by my aunt, Betty, over in High Ridge, Missouri. When I turned 14, I rebelled. After 22 years of messing my life up, he still, he cleaned me up, washed me up took my surrender and gave me that victory by his glorious right hand so here i am standing as the lord's messenger bringing you golden apples in a silver basket a blessed day on this wonderful tuesday y'all